Good afternoon, everybody. This diary of a psychotic video blog is brought to you by Kellogg's of Battle Creek, Michigan. Well, my sponsor's from Michigan, and we're finding out now how desperate the Trump administration has actually become to stay in the White House. Well, it's too late, Donald, but I have discovered how diabolical your real plan is. If you really did have a plan. I'm looking at the death toll in Russia and how the oligarch system and the autocrat system really works over there. Boy, that's not too good for the rank and file and the run-of-the-mill person living in Russia. They're dying by the tens of thousands. Wow. Talk about your impersonal government. And that's the kind of government he represents, not Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump. Okay, this guy can't be out of office too soon as far as I'm concerned. He is deliberately withholding the vaccine, the money for the vaccine from all of us. Yeah, that's right. I'm accusing him of, of negligent homicide. Okay. Step out of that office, man. You know why he hasn't been seen in public? He doesn't want to get killed. Okay. Enough of that. The coronavirus is sweeping the country. It's pretty much out of control. We really do need that vaccine. Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca, they have presentable results. It's, it's beyond 90% of all of the research that's been done. The Oxford developed one by AstraZeneca and the uh, the one developed by Moderna that doesn't require uh, a sub-zero refrigeration. The, uh, the first one that's going to be ready is the one that's going to have to require uh, below 90 degrees Fahrenheit uh, dry ice refrigeration. Um, that one is 94.5% effective as far as I know as the numbers is concerned. Um, let's get that out to everybody. My message to Nancy Pelosi is to hell, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Get that coronavirus stimulus bill out there, all right? Help as many people as you can, save as many lives as you can, all right? Um, Mitch McConnell, step aside or get swept aside, all right? I hope you lose that majority whip seat, okay? I hope you lose it. End up being the minority whip. <laughs> Runoffs in, in Georgia are going to tell the tale. 48 to 48 in the Senate right now. So I say, uh, put Kamala Harris up there in front of Mike Pence. Okay? Have them both sit up there together. And then they both, they all vote on the new stimulus package. All right? And then, uh, hell, they could article 25 Donald Trump on the same at the same time and just have Mike Pence sign the whole thing into law and swear him in right there. You know? I'm sure one of those Republican judges of the Supreme Court will swear him in, get rid of Donald Trump, then we just march over there with the Capitol Police, drag him out of the office and take him down to the Rose Garden, put one in his head, two in his chest to make sure government necessary. You know what I mean? Two in the chest, one in the head, and repeat is necessary. Okay? Guy's a traitor anyway, man. And a murderer. He's a traitor, a murderer, a thief. You name it. Put Steve Munchen up there, too, and pop him, too. All right? Coward. All right. That's all I got to say for the Diary of a Psychotic video blog. Let's put out some of these shout-outs here. Let's put out uh, Ma Mama Mia. Okay? <laughs> Wonder what that's all about. Anyway, um, Rosebud, uh, parked on the one way, also known as uh, Operation Red Wing. And uh, we got uh, Just Jim. We've got the Standing Statue. We've got Blowtorch. We've got Chokehold. We've got uh, Rotten Tomato. We've got uh, Bearded Lady. We've got, um, oh, I'm running out of time. Quick, quick, quick. Got to get a few more. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Uh, Glenn Fitch over at the pharmacy. My favorite nurse. Uh, one more. El Cabong. Okay, that's it. See you next time.
Peace out. Keep the faith. Don Keith, checking out.